Alright, hello! Welcome to Oxygen Not Included, episode 5. Yeah, we survived. <laughs> the last time we did we did a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. We opened up this, we managed to cool off our base. It's looking good, like pretty cold over there. It's pretty cold. And so my plants can survive. For those of you that maybe noticed this, I didn't. I certainly didn't. My food supply went all the way down. We are now at zero calorie. Um, yeah, I'm not looking good, but uh, yeah. So I think since the since the situation is kind of critical there, uh, I need that there and that there. Uh, the first thing is I kind of want to. Uh, fulfill the needs of the plant. So this one needs uh, irrigation. So it needs uh, water, pretty much, right? Farm plot inoperable. Not sure what that means. Okay, and it's all right. I have uh, I have water down there. So I just oh, we have a hatch making an egg live. Nice. Okay. Um. I'm thinking maybe like you could just remove those. That will not be the end of the world, right? I'll put the water thing there. And this needs the atmosphere is not and it's not okay. It needs um a carbon dioxide. So let's address this right away. It's very easy. I think what I will do is I will deconstruct this for a slight for a little like a, for a little while. And I will build instead the wood burner. The wood burner. The wood burner. Something that you can use to produce uh, power. Or heat and carbon dioxide. Heat is not so much concerning because I have this. If this goes bad, I'll be able to address that. Okay, let's go, let's go. Um... I'll put down a door like this over there. Better control over the carbon dioxide. All right, and that should be pretty good for now. Um, same deal. If the water is not the like so good, if the, the temperature of the water is not so great, it's okay. It's all right. I have this to cool off. We have millwood, we have millwood. Also, maybe we'll have some food over there. Ah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, I want to do some wrenching. It's been a while I've seen that. I did nothing yet. I was planning maybe putting the wrench there. I think I have a better idea. I will put some towers uh, up here. Up here, I think I will put down like towers, 96, a room of 96, but like no what at all. So something like this, do it, and I will like do multiple towers next to one another, and I will maybe mostly wrench um, the the, um, the hatches. Hatches are very important stuff. Building. Yeah, okay. Alright. They'll have a bench, right? A bench, a... No, I think it's gone. The triage coat. It's a bench. Uh... Okay. best will be to have this uh, yeah I will, I will build that I have plans down there I want to build plastics and stuff so I think I'll just cancel the project boys all right okay, get out get out 
So as I was saying, I have some project here. I really want to build some plastic. For that, I'll need the oil refinery and the polymer press. I think I'll go there with the oil, the uh, oil refinery. I think I'll put that bad boy over there. The reason why is because this thing you can see over there. This thing produces natural gas. Um, quite a lot of heat too, but like yeah. Normally, like natural gas, it consumes a lot of power, and I have all that thing over there. So, oh, maybe they will overload though. Not there. I have a cable down there. Maybe I can use. Uh, we can build another transformer. Anyway, so that will be my plan. Yeah, so my plan is working there, working out pretty well. So the the, the liquid pump is uh, is hanging. It's kind of close to overheat, but it's there. It's all right. Um, that's pretty cool. All the crude oil is pretty pretty hot, so that would be a good thing maybe to get rid of some of the crude oil that is too hot. The main thing. I'll, I will produce more crude oil over there. There's another oil well. Looking good, looking good down there. What's about up there? What do we get done? <laughs> Alright, so this is working. Working out. Cool, the wood burner. You can see already it's producing quite a lot of carbon dioxide. Unfortunately, the door is still not built. We build a door already. And just a couple pipes for the... Okay, my plants are pretty there. Are, are... Oh no. <laughs> my, 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 my shine bug, my shine bug died. Oh. Okay. I just let the wood burner go there. The only thing there is produce it produce uh, uh, some heat. It's not so good, but eventually things will get better. I just need more carbon dioxide. I can I can leave the the, the dupe to breathe, but I figure like it's a little faster this way. So a little faster this way. Maybe I can build some of those thing over there. Like that, I will leave the um, it will allow the um, carbon dioxide to leave down down there, and the oxygen to go up there. All in all, I think it's a bit it's a good idea. I think that's fine, right? If it's um, in carbon dioxide, yeah. Everything is fine, so yeah. All right, this is working out pretty well. Cool. Okay, I think that's enough with you. Can destroy the wood burner. <laughs> I was just wasting power, pretty much there too. <laughs> okay. Okay, hey, so now the wood burner is destroyed, can build this farm station back. Uh, yeah. And like this, I think we should be fine with our calories. I think sh things should go back fast. Normal fast. Okay. Removing the coat again. I will try to maybe like um, yeah the seeds. I don't want the seeds to be spread everywhere, so I'll just yeah build a single one of those right there. That should do. Okay, we should survive. We should survive, even though we are at zero carry. Oh, that's not good. Ugh. 
we keep always like they, they always drop their their stuff down there even though i put down doors in order to avoid this as much as possible they still drop stuff so yeah it's not always a good a good thing to put down like a huge fire pole to go all the way down not always a good idea i think i will put down maybe a door over there and could even maybe put another door over there. That will be like double door. Maybe I'm right. Trying to limit as much as possible the drop. One door here, one door here. And. Okay, since the situation is quite critical, I will have to build the wrenches. So I go, let's go. I'll build the wrenches right away. Um, something like that. I kind of want five yet wide. Five wide. So five wide and we'll go all the way. 95. Yeah, right there. Oh no, oh my god. There we go, we have... They are dying, the plants are not getting produced fast enough. Oh well, Robert was my builder too. But not sure what I can do about this. Okay, well it's part of the game. Part of the fun. Sure, there's another one that is going down. It's just uh, they don't have the farmer touch, do? Yeah. <laughs> Not looking good. Maybe I can kill some of the hatches. I think I'll get. I'll have to do that. We'll kill how many? Like some of them. Three. Three, maybe. Sorry, edges. Are they going to eat? That's the question. Can they eat the meat? Oh, they can't eat the meat. Well, too bad. Now they can. Let's go. For now, the mill wood. I need the mill wood. I don't know why there's no farm touch in this. Ah, that's unfortunate. So I'll try to find another builder. Skills, it was like so good. Machinery, building 18. Ah, what a bummer. Alright. <laughs> it will take like ages to get to get like another dupe as good as it was but all right <gasps> oh maybe you cannot even do that with the farm uh, with the uh... oh maybe you can't even do the farm touch on the millwood if so I didn't know So, in our little cave over there, I want a crater drop off. I want a crater feeder and then station. The grooming station. Um, I also need some optimization. I'll do that. Uh, right there. Okay, I need water. That's one thing, too. I don't have like a, a spot there to retrieve some water. We'll do that. We'll build one. Okay, so I think I'll put down the water pitcher pump over there. So I'll do the classical. Okay. <laughs> um. So pumping pitch pump over there, just like that. We just want the thingy to be there, like um, the liquid vent. 
ladder maybe on top and just have to bring over the water that would be long that would that will not be fast okay Repose in peace, Robert. 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 That's too bad. Alright. Um, so up there we'll feed some of the hatches. Come back, come back. It says come back all the time because I have a... a I bring it. I bring. I brought in like the evolved bulb, <laughs> and yeah, right there. It's right there. All right, back here. Hatch. I want to feed them with um, sandstone. Outside stable. I was wondering like why the, the, the pump is blocked and that's because what is this it was not supposed to be done this way there oopsie all right so I guess I'll just plunge this underneath there oh my goodness and I also will probably yeah bring This over like that. Okay. Hmm. I see that the um, Ethan old is having a hard time to keep up with going the base. It's working out. You can see like all the bedrooms there is more and more. And the base itself gets more and more cold. It just can it just can't keep up. They're just too much. Also it doesn't help when this is uh, out of power. Okay, wow, well, now we're having like all the food in the world, it's there. Ah, uh, that's so unfortunate. One of my plans was also like to maybe explore the map a little, but I think I will stay in the base a little longer until like basic basic stuff get built. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I think I will grab the crude oil down there. I will bring this over to the oil refinery. What I will do is like, I will take the crude oil that is a bit too hot for my liking. So if it's like... We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Maybe me like if it's uh, up 100 degrees Celsius. All right, we'll go like that down each time we open up the um, optimization okay so this will go over there I'm doing this with the engineer's rock okay well here's the plan and I'll bring that there and I will bring the uh, petroleum down I could I can build like water tank there liquid tank. Ah, no, I should not. That will be filled with the uh, crude oil. It should be. Anyway. Um... Okay. 
Let's see it in from the Praetor pod. Good builder. Ah, oh, we got a strong man. We got a ranger. And we got this guy with only one skill. Okay, no, reject. Okay. There goes the body temperature. Mm. This can't keep up. The radiant liquid pipe is now at 35 degrees Celsius. It's supposed to be at minus 25. And we are not there. And that is mainly because this thing is always out of power. This thing is out of power. Because I don't produce enough power. Alright, let's do this. Okay. So I guess the easiest way to do that will be to use the coal generator. Maybe I can put more. Also maybe also improving my machines could help it as well. So let's do this. As well. Uh, all right, sure. And we'll be building maybe another full generator. I would like to, but I guess I will do it. I didn't never I never brought the cable down there. I'm just wasting power. Oops. Oopsie. Okay, that's obviously not good. Okay, okay. Oh, we still love this there. That's getting wasted too. Okay, let's um let's sell the project. Let's remove those piece of equipment we're just wasting power <laughs> at this point <laughs> oh my goodness okay a good thing that i saw that because i don't know for all much more longer i could have uh, kept that i think i'll just remove this guy there okay i'll be building a ladder This ain't perfect. We'll probably ah, put a lot of crude oil. All right. Okay, so that's my plan. Plan will be I will build our cable. I'll just meet our cables up there. Okay. Like that, we'll just have a gets better control over the power I hope <laughs> oh, my base is not cool anymore oh my god the situation is so bad how did I how did that happen All right, so I brought my first little hatch, hatches. Uh, well, at least, at least we'll be we'll be having some meat, maybe. All right, bring bring more, bring more. I think I can have like up to nine. So let's go. The situation is going down. Only the dust cap survived to this uh, this eat. Uh. Alright, so I fixed down there some of the issues. 
with the power. We're now having some power back. Uh, with this now, our system that drag water is back, but now we have no water anymore. And because of this, we are now... Yeah, we are not producing any <laughs> oxygen anymore. Oh boy. Big problem, big problem. We just keep on going with the problems. Keep getting more and more problems. My plan is uh, to dig all the way down there. Building, please don't, don't, don't stay in this for too long. Okay, so now everything is connected. Get her. Okay. That's not good. She's my only UA builder. Alright. Um, so my plan obviously is to go all the way down and take all these out of water. Alright, this playthrough is not going so well. I don't wonder if it will survive. I noticed that this is getting down. The cable broke. So I'll have to dig a hole to get in there. The fact that I don't have any builders killing me. It's like nothing's happening. So things are broken down left and right and like I have no power over this. Stop doing this. Okay, build all the way up there. Click stairs. Making crude oil to go all the way down here. Believe it or not. I put that as priority 9 because it's not getting done. And as long as I don't have water, I will never be able to survive. All right, all right, here we go, pump done, dig through this, everything should connect. I don't know where you think you're going, just finish this. Okay, it's all right. We have some nasty crude oil. I'll have to remove that, remove this. Okay, here we go with another do. Okay, got a builder. Can I do doctoring? It's alright. Can I a creative person? It's also alright. Okay. I think for now is the best I will guess, so... Uh... Jean-Pierre! Jean-Pierre, welcome aboard! Welcome to hell! So we'll put him in the schedule, right? Good schedule, okay. I don't want this guy to do anything. Except for building. And digging too. But like a little. Uh, that's your only job, buddy. And there you go. Building. Okay, now I cut a hole there. Operation repair. Got to repair those things ASAP. Yeah. It is indeed very hot down there. So what I think I will add, I will add here in the uh, hydro sensor. So like this, if it's um, uh... 
Oh my god, he's going down. Can you stop playing around? Okay. So that's it. So what I was... I think... It, it, I'm... I was a bit scared later, maybe like they were too much, could be maybe too much crude oil in this and maybe like it will crack and explode and I was a bit scared of this, so that's the reason why I turned that off, but I forgot after that to use that to, you know, to close back, <laughs> to close that back, so what I will do... Well, wait, if this like it's uh, yeah below eight kilo, eight hundred kilo, I'll I'll close that up. Okay, so this is back. It's an all too hot. It plays around with uh, twelve and twenty-seven. And that is mainly because like one gets in, one get out. I, I cannot operate fast enough apparently. Let's get here, we'll be back to normal. Okay, oh my god, builder man. Did you build everything already? There were a lot of things. What's going on down there? Um Oxygen Okay, we're getting oxygen, it will just take... I don't know why we have natural gas. Oh, uh, it's because I... yeah. Okay. Okay, things will get back to normal. I think. I think. But it will take a while. Well, that will take a while. In the meantime, maybe I can build more of those um, cages. I'll do exact, the, the exact same thing, actually. Okay, so that will be my... Wrenches. So three big one there. I will try to max out as much as possible with those uh, edges. Um, then the last one I think will be reserved for the pokey, the pokey shells. I didn't discover any yet, but I know, <laughs> I know, I know that we will encounter some at one point. So this one will be a bit strange. It's all right. Because I'm missing a bit of space. But it's alright. Okay, situation is getting better and better. We're getting back to normal. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's go. We are now producing enough power. Yeah, we're fully maxed in this round. Okay, cool. Perfect. How did that happen? What are you standing on? What is this? Ah, oh. obsidians. Oh, that's uh, wow. Okay. All right, cool. That's a little wild. Uh, no, we are not going to use obsidian. Ingenious rock, maybe. Or centimeter rock, one or the other. Maybe centimeter rock will be faster. Oh, this guy is stuck there too. Oh my god. Uh, well, six. 
build the ladder first, boys, and then we'll be set. Oh my goodness. You got to guide you dupes. For everything. There we go. Look how beautiful it looks now with the crown molding. Let's go. <laughs> nice. I uh, just have to put ladders here. Okay, we are getting... We are getting there. The temperature... Yeah, temperature went back to normal. This is hot as... Uh, as it can get in hell. <laughs> a nail-ish temperature. It's alright. Oh... Uh... Lock. Okay, I tried to change maybe here the path there. It's a bit silly. Find that to be a bit silly, so. Okay, here we go. Brought that. I put. Aww. It's all confused. Yeah, I got to put bridge sometimes to yeah okay but the thing can understand where to go the thing the liquid that's the that's the purpose of this bridge there oh my god look at the food I have so much right now it's insane a <laughs> fried mushroom, pretty much pickle meal too. Bristle berry, so that all that thing there offered me a lot and uh, an insane amount of food, I will say. Even that's pretty cool, pretty nice, pretty lit. The so one will be the normal hatch, the other will be sage, and the other will be like the stone one. So we'll be doing something like that. Nine. Okay, and with this we can get the sage that I know we have somewhere over here. Uh, that's a normal, normal. Where, where is the sage one? Maybe it's down there. Maybe. Maybe it's dead. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> oh, there. I was uh, looking for you. Okay, I'll I'll leave some of the edges wild. Sure, why not? The iron there looking good. Volcano looking good. It's doing its thing. <laughs> Just had to pee to pee a little on on this, and we're good now. That's all of what I needed to do. Okay, I guess with one, just one, will be fine. There's a huge amount of debris down there. Okay, can I have another builder? If I can have another builder, I will take it. All right, sure. Alright, so my suits are already there. I guess what I will do is I will mop all that first of all. Remove the crude oil the crude oil that doesn't belong there anymore. Yeah, good job fellows. I will build another another of those large transformer. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, I've been building... Almost done. Uh, I've been building this. I think time to get maybe to the adventure. I know I have a geyser over there. I absolutely need to find something that can produce some water. Like a cool salt water. A cool salt. Uh, salt slush. Maybe a, like a cool polluted water. Whatever it, what it is. Like a vent. Yeah. I have to get this anytime soon. Very soon, in fact. Um, what do we have here? What do we have here? We have a Dricklet. We have a power... Power woman. Uh, poor man, but not as strong as the, as the girl, you see. Uh, I'll go with the Dricklet. Let's go, Dricklet. Yay, have some milkwood. All for you. <laughs> All right. And I still, yeah, I still have to make the famous plastic. The old famous plastic that I was looking for. It will not be complicated. I just have to finish up. Stuff. So since this takes a lot of power, it will need its own cable. I think I'll build it there. Right there. Oh, yeah. Finally. Probably more press. I think I can build two over there. I will build the floor with maybe metal tiles actually. So this thing there gets hot very fast. Oh if I can build this with gold and megan it will it will be better. With gold Amalgam. Amalgam. I always struggle a bit to say this word. Alright. It is done. That will help. So we'll be producing some of the plastic down there. The problem is that that, that piece of equipment there produces steam. At 200 degrees Celsius. My only concern now is I think because of the steam, water, water will find its way down there. I kind of want that to keep making sure like this is only crude oil. So we'll have to maybe build a well or something. Uh, actually, hold on before I'm <laughs> moving this. I don't want you guys to be stuck. Oh, it's a bit sloppy, but eh. That will do. Oh my god, I'm uh, producing maybe a little too much of crude oil. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I can turn those bad boys off. Okay. Alright, I will put that there. Just doing like, doing like this. Okay, like that will be will be good. I just have too much crude oil down there now. This produces crude oil at what temperature? I wonder. It's at 90 degrees Celsius. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, sure. Because I will produce more crude oil down there, because I can. I don't know. And I will bring this over here, I think. So I'll build another, yet another pump. A 
I, can, I don't burn enough hydrogen. Okay. Good. Another critical, another situation. Critical situation. I don't need to build. Actually, I will build that like that. I will even bring another one. So like this, it'll be set, right? Well, it, the reason why is because if I, if it so happens I have more hydrogen from somewhere else than base, I'll be able to do something with it. The hydrogen? What temperature is the hydrogen there? 55. Okay, there's no reason maybe to... Well, yeah, sure. That will be a hot mess. Yeah, I keep on making more oxygen and because of this we are blocking our oxygen our production. Oh, really? Do we... Do we have now too much power? Is that what's happening too? I'll just leave those two uh, uh, doing it their thing all the time. All right, so what I did, okay, so it's done there. What I did there is like I put the tenemization with this thing. The gas reservoir also give a signal. It like gets a red signal, I think, when it's full. So it sends sends a red signal when the reservoir is at 100%. So I'm using this with a knot. So if it's full, I want these to work all the time. So like that, it's possible that I will waste some energy. Because because of this, if like the batteries are full, this thing will keep on going still. It will still try to do its thing. And um, yeah. So the plan here is just to, yeah, empty please, just empty that thing. And we already suffer from this one. <laughs> Uh, already in the past, so I just want to empty out a bit of the hydrogen. I'm going to be a little less. Even still, let's go. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a fine idea there. At 30, when, when the tank will be full at 30%, those machines should stop until like it gets back at maybe 90%. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Ooh, the natural gas. It's because I have too much carbon dioxide down there. Oh, body temperature. Okay. It was bound to happen. I knew. 40 degrees Celsius. We reached that that temperature. So I think with this, I think it's a nice time to maybe cut that off <clears throat> once and for all. So let's do that. Uh, let's. I can. Remove those pipes. Okay, try to do maybe something smart. And what I will do is I will just bring down the car their carbon skimmer instead. All the water will fall down there. That's all right. And the water will rise up from there. Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Well, same time, why should I be sorry? It's your fault. 
It's all your fault. So carbon scammer, I'll build three of them. Three of them should be like more than enough. I do have some cables. Just have to do that. Um I do have some water. Just have to do that. Cool. So the beauty with this is not only like I have a lot of iron, I'm calling this off too, but like the food poisoning is also dying really fast. Like you can see there is no food poisoning even though like it's a very dirty water and we see it goes down very fast and that is mainly because yeah food poisoning it survives between minus 25 to 75 degrees celsius and we are just a little bit above this so we are killing off all the germs very fast <laughs> well all in all that is um that's, that can be useful. I can produce oxygen out of this. I can bring this to electrolyzers. Yeah, nice. Okay, so as you can see, this is the. This, uh, this is close. Pretty good. So those are off. And. Okay. Okay, good plan. Good plan. Okay, done. The carbon scammer are now working out pretty well. Should get rid of all of the carbons dioxide very soon. I, I hope. At three should be should be quick, right? Should be done quick. I probably want maybe to put down the Nanmo sensor to like here. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, all of this quality water is going out there. I want this thing to be have the priority over that. So I kinda, because I bring this over back here into this. So there's like a battle between this down there and like the carbon skimmers. And for this, for if you have, if you want like to have a priority somewhere, what you do is you put, you put down a bridge there. I think that comes out of the bridge as the lowest priority over like the, the things that are already in the pipe. But, like that these will always flow. Then that will wait for carving its spot for like coming up. It's pretty pretty genius this way I guess. Alright, there we go. We have our poly polymer press. But, uh, <laughs> they are broken down. I try, I try. This thing is uh, incredible. It, because it produces steam at 200 degrees Celsius on top of it. So maybe my best bet will be to make it with, uh, with steel instead. Ah, uh, I try. I'll, I will build steam like uh, momentarily. I'll just close them off. All right, so what's about up there? Okay, I think we're good. Let's go into the adventure, shall we? Um, to the adventure. Okay, hold on. I don't want this thing to. Yeah, I want this thing to spit like I. I yeah. I will go over there because I don't want this thing there to spit hydrogen all over the place where I go, so I'll just be careful. Are you serious? <sighs> nice bug. Hey, hello, man. Mr. Atch. Alright, moment of truth. 
What do we do uh, behind this? Let's go. It's a... Um, volcano! Nice. It's a volcano. Congrats, everybody. Woo! We did it. Oh. Oh, well. Sure, let's uh, open up the volcano. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Oh, oops. Uh, don't do those. Let's build a little tile there. <laughs> okay, and we'll be digging our way to somewhere else. Holding. Oh. Oh. Okay, maybe the crown there. Oh, they keep going down to get the slime there. Hmm. It's all right. Oh, it's all right. I just want to dig more, just a little more. That. That's it. Oh. That space. Oh, that space. Well, this thing <laughs> managed to find its way down there. Oh, okay, okay. That's a lot of hydrogen. It's alright. It's alright. I'll get some hydrogen all over the place. Uh, I would like to hmm, keep on exploring, but unfortunately I don't have enough oxygen. So, um, yeah, they just just waiting for that. They just only like every so in a while a little bit of oxygen find its way up there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so maybe one. Another thing I could do maybe is to produce more oxygen with the electrolyzer using maybe this water down there because I'm starting to have a lot of water down there that I'm not so sure what I can do with. So that could be maybe a good idea to do that. Um, so that will be... Oh! Before going, before going... This guy can be interesting. Uh, no, nothing. I'll go with the aluminium. Alright. So next, yeah, next I'll be, I'll be building more more uh, oxygen in the base. I feel... Uh, because, because yeah, it worked out pretty well. No carbon dioxide down there anymore. But with this, I ended up like having a lot of a, well, natural gas, but also like a, a lot of emptiness. So that needs to be filled and need to be filled with oxygen. So that's the reason why the pressure is so low. Um, yeah, I will try to do that next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, consider maybe subscribing. That could be helpful for me. That will be helpful for me. And um, yeah, see you there. Till the next time. Ciao.